I need you to imagine something for a moment. You're driving down the highway, engine humming. Everything sounds normal. And then suddenly, your oil pressure light flashes. One second, two seconds. Then your engine starts rattling like a jar of bolts. What if I told you this exact scenario happens thousands of times every year, and the cause is something 95% of drivers never think about? Not the oil, not the fuel, not the coolant, but the oil filter, the one part most drivers ignore completely, and the part I foolishly ran for 100,000 miles straight. And trust me, the damage I found inside the engine shook me to my core. It nearly destroyed a motor that should have lasted 400,000 miles. And mechanics quietly see this every single week, but they almost never tell you. Stay with me, because what I'm about to show you will completely change the way you think about oil changes, engine wear, and car maintenance forever. By the final five minutes, you'll know. Why reusing the same filter destroys oil pressure? the hidden parts inside a filter that actually fail first. The big brand filter that failed at only 12,000 miles, the filter type that saved my engine at the last second, and the one deadly mistake drivers make right after an oil change. This isn't a theory video. This is real testing, real teardown, real engine damage, and a lesson I wish somebody had taught me years ago. Let's get into it. Section 1 why I did the 100,000 mile oil filter test and why you should care. Before you judge me, yes, running a filter for 100,000 miles sounds insane, but there's a reason. When I talk to several longtime mechanics, guys with 25 to 40 years of hands-on experience, they all told me something shocking. Modern synthetic oil can sometimes survive 10,000, 12,000 miles, but oil filters? They're the silent killers. They fail long before the oil does. That sentence stuck with me. Most drivers think filters are just a can with paper inside. Something cheap, something replaceable, something that doesn't matter. But what if the oil filter is the key to your engine's entire lifespan? That's why I decided to push the limits, deliberately, to see what would happen if I used one filter for 100,000 miles. Was it stupid? Absolutely. But the results are so dramatic, so eye-opening, that it's now one of the most important videos I've ever made. Section two, what happens inside an oil filter? After 5,000, 20,000, 60,000 miles? Before we get to the big mistake, you need to understand how oil filters actually age. Most drivers think a filter just catches dirt until it fills up, but that's not really how it works. What really happens is this. One, the filter media hardens over time. Heat, varnish, and pressure turn the filter paper stiff like cardboard. Two, the bypass valve starts opening more often. Once the filter clogs, the oil bypasses filtration entirely and flows unfiltered. Three, contaminants no longer get trapped. They recirculate carbon, micro metal shavings and sludge swirl back into the engine. Four, wear accelerates fast. Your bearings, camshaft, VVT system, and even the timing chain suffer. Five, in extreme cases, filters collapse internally. Mechanics call this a filter implosion, and it can starve the engine of oil and kill it instantly. So what happens when you push a filter way past its breaking point? That's exactly what you're about to see. Section 3, the 100,000 mile test vehicle and setup. The test car was a Toyota 2.4L 2AZFE, one of the most durable and predictable engines ever made. Here's how the test was controlled. Only one oil filter, brand name hidden until the end. You'll want to hear this. Oil changed every 5,000 miles, but the filter was left untouched. Oil samples sent to a lab to track wear metals, silicon, viscosity, oxidation, and soot. Engine teardown after 100,127 miles to inspect real physical wear. This wasn't a sloppy backyard test. This was documented step by step using real mechanical standards. And by mile 70,000, we started seeing the first warning signs. 
Section 4. The First Major Warning Sign Most drivers ignore this. At around 70,000 miles, something subtle happened. The oil began darkening faster than normal, not just old oil dark, more like tar-like viscosity increase. Most drivers assume dark oil is normal, but according to Blackstone Labs, premature darkening often means filtration failure, oxidation, or soot recirculation, and it gets worse. Lab reports showed rising levels of iron, wear from cylinder walls, aluminum, pistons, copper, bearings, silicon, dirt bypassing the filter. This meant one thing. The filter was no longer filtering, but the engine still ran fine, which is exactly why most drivers never notice the problem until it's too late. Section 5. Hidden damage at 100,000 miles. The big mistake revealed. When we finally tore the engine down, the mechanic took one look at the filter housing and said, yeah, this thing quit working a long time ago. Here's what we found. One, the filter media was rock hard. It wasn't flexible paper anymore. It felt like a dry, brittle piece of cardboard. Oil could no longer flow through it properly. Two, the bypass valve was stuck open, meaning for tens of thousands of miles, my engine was running on unfiltered oil. Three, carbon deposits everywhere, especially inside. VVT solenoids, oil galleries, camshaft caps, timing chain tensioner. This is the kind of buildup mechanics see in engines with no oil changes. Not engines serviced every 5,000 miles. Four, the worst part, micro scoring on bearings. Not catastrophic damage, but damage that ages an engine decades in advance. The mechanic's exact words, if you kept going another 20,000 miles, you'd have a spun bearing. Section six, why cheap and big brand filters fail the same way. Now that you've seen what 100,000 miles did to the filter inside my engine, let's break down why it failed. Because this is the information mechanics never explain. Most drivers think expensive oil, good cheap oil, risky, all filters. It's basically the same. But here's the truth. Oil filters are not created equal. The real difference is what's inside, the part you never see. And here's why both cheap filters and some big name filters fail early. One, thin filter media clogs fast. Some brands use thin cellulose paper, which clogs quickly under heat, keep pressure and soot. After 5,000, 8,000 miles, the material becomes stiff and forces oil through the bypass valve. That means your engine runs unfiltered even if your oil is brand new. Two, weak bypass valves, the silent engine killer. The bypass valve is the pressure relief valve inside the filter. If the media clogs, the valve opens to prevent the engine from starving of oil. But here's the danger. Cheap filters use plastic or weak springs. Some big brand filters use under tension springs. Heat cycles weaken the system. Result, the valve gets stuck open. Your engine gets zero filtration for thousands of miles and most drivers never know it's happening. Three, inferior anti-drain back valves. Dry starts, shakers, major wear. Ever start your engine and hear a ticking noise for a few seconds? That's dry start wear caused by thin silicone valves, poor sealing cheap rubber that hardens over time, and every dry start scrapes away microscopic metal from cam lobes, piston skirts, and bearings. Multiply that over 50,000 miles, and you get premature wear that no oil additive can fix. Four, small oil capacity, less media, faster failure. Some filters simply have less filter paper, fewer pleats, smaller surface area, lower overall holding capacity. So even if the brand is popular, the physical design is limiting. This is exactly what happened with the filter I used for 100,000 miles. It didn't catastrophically fail. It simply ran out of capacity, clogged, and forced the engine into bypass mode. Section seven, the filters that did pass the test. Mechanic approved. After interviewing mechanics and testing filters on a bench vise, pressure gun, and four different engines, here are the filters consistently praised for strength, filtration, 
and long-term performance. One, Wix, XP, Napa Platinum, Synthetic Media, Strong Bypass Valve, Excellent Under High Heat Top Mechanic Choice. Two, Mobile One, Extended Performance, Thick Synthetic Media, Anti-Drain Back Valve, that lasts industry-leading efficiency. Three, Royal Purple, Extended Life, Strongest Canister, Excellent Contaminant Holding Capacity, Ideal for Long Oil Intervals. Bosch, Distance Plus, Extremely Dense Synthetic Media, Durable Spring-Loaded Bypass Valve, Designed for Extended Drain Intervals. OEM Filters, Toyota, Honda, Subaru, Ford, Not Fancy, but engineered specifically for each engine's flow rate bypass pressure, thermal resistance, OEM filters are underrated and often outperform big shelf filters in long-term reliability. Section eight, the worst oil filter mistakes. Most drivers don't know these. Now, here's the part every viewer needs to hear. Even with a great filter, there are mistakes that destroy engines over time. Let's go through the worst offenders. Mistake number one, over tightening the filter. This crushes the gasket and causes leaks months later, not immediately. After a few heat cycles, the gasket warps and your oil slowly drips out. Mistake number two, under tightening the filter. Oil pressure blows past the seal and within seconds, you lose all oil. This is why mechanics use measured torque or three per four turn past contact. Mistake number three, installing a dry gasket. Never do this. Always oil the rubber gasket so it doesn't bind, tear, or twist during installation. Mistake number four, mixing oil filters with wrong oil thickness. Some engines require lower bypass PSI, higher bypass PSI. If you mismatch, you can cause startup starvation pressure spikes, bypass mode activation. Mistake number five, letting oil drain back overnight. This happens when your filter has a cheap anti-drain back valve. It causes dry starts. The NARA one cause of long-term camshaft wear. Mistake number six, using oversized filters without understanding bypass PSI. Some people upgrade to bigger filters, not realizing the bypass pressure is completely different. This can starve the engine. Section nine, how often should you replace your oil filter? Real answer, forget what the manual says. Forget what shops say. Forget the 10,000 mile filter label. Here's the rule mechanics follow. Conventional oil. Change filter every 3,000, 4,000 miles. Synthetic oil, change filter every 5,000, 7,500 miles. Turbo engines, change filter at every oil change, no exceptions. Direct injection engines, more soot ad ronch, change even sooner. Remember, your oil is only as good as your filter. If your filter fails, your oil fails, and your engine fails. Section 10, the big lesson what my 100,000 mile mistake taught me. After tearing the engine apart, the conclusion was painfully clear. The engine didn't die because the oil was bad. It didn't die because of mileage. It didn't die because of design flaws. It died because the oil filter quietly stopped working tens of thousands of miles ago. The filter became brittle. The bypass stuck open. The engine ran unfiltered. The bearings wore down. The oil pressure dropped. The engine aged decades in a few years. And the craziest part? Most drivers are unknowingly doing the same thing. Every time they buy a cheap filter, every time they skip replacing the filter, every time they believe all oil filters are the same, they're shortening the life of an engine that could have lasted 400,000 miles.